Hello and welcome. I know you guys have been patiently waiting for this, or some of you guys, um, uh, with my 3D printed molds for the silicone sluice box mats. So I'm going to be introducing you to three new mats that I came up with today from my 3D printer molds. This is one of them here. Show you the profile. Um, this is a pretty cool mat. We're going to go through them one by one. This is a sluice box mat I designed. And all of my mats just like this one are going to be something different you've probably never seen before. Uh, they're a little unique, so I'm not copying anything. I think that was really important to me. Um, I know some of you guys are going to say, um, this mold is 6x6, six six. my sluice is bigger than that. Well, I've got another video I've got to do to try to help everybody get the perfect mat and the best they can. So there's lots of reasons for this. And in that video, I will be showing how to fuse the mats together so they don't come apart and a bunch of other tips and tricks I got for you. So that'll become clearer and clearer why I did this this way. So here it is. This is my sluice box mat. And if you can see the ridges here, it's pretty a pretty low angled riffle in here. Let's get down here. And then the ridge, instead of coming up to a point, goes straight back down and the water and the material hit hit here. Now, why did I do that? I think a problem with a lot of sluice box mats, they'll load up with material and and then, you know, all the gold and black sand and everything rolls right over the top. With this one, I wanted to give the gold the biggest chance I could to drop out. So the gold has literally got to crawl up this riffle it's going to drop back down, hit this riffle. It's going to have to crawl all the way back up here, all the way down the mat. So I think that is unique. I haven't seen anybody else do it. I think it's going to work out just fine. So I have been playing with these a little bit. I'm pretty impressed and I'm not surprised. Why? Because if I can cut grooves in a board and they work, if I can use Legos for a silicone mat, and it works. If I can use PVC pipes and dimes and clay for a mold and it catches gold, um, I figured if I could come up with any type of a riffle system all, at all, it is gonna be amazing. Well, I wasn't wrong. So let me just fire this thing up. I'll show you what it does. Um, with this mold I made, um, you even have the option to glue together to put a little wave in the middle of this or a little hump if you want to. I did on this one. Um, I like it. So we'll just go ahead and we'll run this. I've got some dirt here. This is all quarter inch material. I've doctored it up with about a gram of gold. Um, I'm not gonna call it a test. I'm just gonna call it a demonstration because there's no way that I can cover every angle and every water flow speed and all that kind of stuff with just one run so it's a demonstration and we'll get this thing fired up and i'll show you how it works um i've got this video and probably one more to do and then i will make these 3d molds available to people uh, i'm still working on that but we're getting really close my printer's been working overtime i've got a bunch of molds made up so let's fire this thing up I made a little six inch sluice um, to test these mats with and I've got a 1200 gallon hour pump almost open wide open so water's clipping through here pretty good I've got the angle of the sluice set at about between seven and eight degrees that's about where I like to put it this stuff as you can tell is loaded with black sand see it working away there and you can see how the riffles are staying open about halfway down that's what I was looking for you can see how quick the materials cleaning out and working its way down the gold's really got it if it's gonna move down it's gonna travel 
it's going to travel all along that silicone. And since silicone seems to be worked so well at stopping the gold or slowing it down, uh, I thought that was really important to do. To give the gold as much surface area as we can possibly give it to slow it down and find a place for it to drop out and rest. So let's run this one, and then I've got two more mats to show you. The second one is the bomb, I think. And with the 3D printed molds, you end up with all kinds of little tiny grooves in the mat itself to actually help trap the gold. I know I don't know what will happen this time, but last time I ran it, I had gold actually sticking halfway up the riffle. I had gold sticking on top of the riffle because even the top of the riffle, it goes down and it's got little grooves in it and the gold was sitting right in there on top of the riffle. Now, I don't know any map out there that would do that. You know, I've had a lot of people ask me if I'm going to compare my mats to anybody else. No, I'm not. I think that there's some amazing mats on the market. I think there's some not so amazing mats on the market. But this is still a do it your home project. Um, I haven't made any mats to sell yet. I don't know that I will. Uh, I'm just going to make the molds available right now. But no, I'm not out to trash anybody else's product that they've worked hard to develop and put out there on the market. I don't think that's good business at all. If these things work, they will stand all on their own. And I don't need to compare to anybody. That's just my two cents worth. Um, these molds are a little time consuming to print. Uh, one of them takes 17 hours and I'll show you that one here in a minute. This takes about 10 hours to print. Another one takes about 9 hours to print. Okay, well we just got done running that bucket of dirt. The gold's showing up. Um, I will go ahead and turn this off. And we will take a peek at it. And see what we see here. All right, look at all that gold in there. Right in the first riffle. We even have gold stuck up here on the slick plate. Um, we got gold. I don't know if you can see it. I'm having fight in the wind here. I'm using my phone. It's got a better camera on it. Right on top of the riffle. Up here you can actually see gold like quite a bit of it right in here there's gold on top of the riffle lots of them all the way down I hope you guys can see that there is gold literally you can see all those grooves in there And there's gold halfway up the riffle. But I think I'm going to love this mat. I'm going to go ahead and we'll break out the other mat. I'm not going to make these available, like I said, until I run some real dirt through it and see how it works. But at first result, or first test, they're amazing. This is the second time I've ran this. But, I hope you guys can get a good look at that. These look almost the same, but you can tell they're not. They're spaced differently. Each one of these is a little bit different all the way down. Um, these are all the same. There's four sections, but this one's super close, a little further apart. These are really wide. This one's real wide. So, yeah, all kinds of different angles. Um... <laughs> So that is the first one, and you can tell down here 
we don't see any gold at the bottom. Like I said, I'm not calling this a test. Just because, but you can tell most of the gold is right up here at the top. So let's go ahead and break out this other mat that I've got. And I think you're really going to like that. I'm just going to clean this one out and we'll rerun it. And we're going to do mat number two. Um, here we go. This is the mold. This is a high-low V-mat. There's the... You can see the different uh, angles there, or the different heights. So it alternates back and forth. I actually think this one's the bomb, man. We'll give you a closer look at it. You can see it high, low, high, low, high, low, all the way down. Um, just from the mold, it's got all these little grooves right on the top. I think they will eventually wear off. But anyway, I think this one's going to be cool for, say instance i don't know beach mining um i think i'm gonna run it in my sluice okay we got the thing fired up and get a little gold in there a little dirt it actually is sticking to the mat up here just goes real slow but this high low v mat i'm gonna love it look at that gold they're barely moving down the mat. Well, we could use even a little more water, I think. Without any problem at all. We'll get it moving along. Well, we got that ran, and as you can tell, we got black sand going down the mat. But look where the gold's at. And you can see that there's gold stuck in the second riffle, each one of those. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just turn this up and clean out that mat a little bit. So we can see it. Okay, that is the V mat, the high low V mat. And look at all that gold right up at the top. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna love this mat. Um, it's gonna work fantastic. Um, yeah, you don't see really see any gold down here. I'm not saying. Like I said, this is not an actual test because I'm not expecting to catch every single speck of gold in two feet of mat, and that's all there is. So um, this is just a demonstration, but look at the gold up at the top. Um, that doesn't lie. So that one's going to be awesome. Um, let me get the next mat out. We'll clean this up. I'll get the next mat out and we will show you that one be right back okay next mat this one i am calling my finishing mat you can see the super fine grooves in there we'll turn this over and some higher ones there every inch or so um this one is going to be cool i like this for say uh just like i said a finishing mat for a final sluice mat or maybe beach sand or an inspection mat should be able to see the gold in there for that but i really like this mat too and i think it's gonna work very well i ran some beach sand on it and yeah it worked awesome just peel the black sand away I made these mats to kind of work together so you have you know a, a v mat 
you can use to do your clean out after you run your regular material and then this finishing sluice um, I think they're gonna work great together when I get out in the field bring home my concentrates let that clean out for a second There we have it. Put all that gold at the top up there. For a finishing mat, I think that's going to work fantastic. Um, I think for it'd be more for beach gold. Um, I've ran it pretty fast. It seems to do pretty well. We even got gold sticking on the slick plate up there again. Let me get this cleaned out and I'll give you my final thoughts and I'll say a few words here. Okay, I got my gold back. Yeah, did the mats work? Yes, extremely happy. Uh, the molds are awesome. Like I said, I'm not going to put them on the market until I do first a video on how I get them so crisp and clean now. So I will do that, and then I'm going to run some real dirt through them. Then I'll make them available. So please let me know what you think in the comments of the new mats and the molds. I sure would appreciate it. I'll be back as soon as I can. I'm either going to run real dirt through this here in a couple days, or I'm heading to the claim. And hopefully I'll have enough of the mats together and put together. I can do that. So more videos to come soon. Um, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, and we'll catch you next time. Bye now.